Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Sorry, I got a still hard on my tail, but I'm gonna show you how to make this super easy spring or summer hat. Very, very easy. If you know how to do double and single crochet, you'll be able to make this hat. Um, you can make the brim on it as long or as short as you want. So it's versatile to fit uh, to your desired brim size. Um, it's, it's made to fit about a 21 to 21 and a half inch head and it's about seven inches down not counting the brim of the hat that doesn't count you can make like i said you can add more rows or whatever you want to do for that um i just want to take a second to ask you to please not forget to hit that subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner if you see it there and um give this video a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it so let's go ahead and get started on this okay for this project i'm using a lion brand comfy cotton blend um, it is a polyester cotton blend, 392 yards would be plenty to make the hat. Now this is classified as a lightweight three. I don't think that it is a lightweight three. I think it's classified wrong. Um, so if you don't use this yarn, I would recommend using a four weight yarn. So this yarn, and if you choose not to use this one, you definitely don't have to use it. Any four weight yarn will work. As you can see by looking at it, it looks more like a four weight to me. And then let's see, the color I'm using is called sugarcane. And then I'm going to be using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with a slip knot on our hook. And we're gonna go and we're gonna work a chain of three. Now I'm gonna slip stitch back into the first chain to form a ring. Now, if you prefer to use the magic circle, that would be fine too. Now I'm gonna chain one, which does not count as a stitch. And I'm gonna work 12 double crochets through the center of this ring. So I'm gonna yarn over and go through the center of the ring, draw up my loop, and then I'm just gonna do my double crochet like normal. And I wanna do that 12 times through the center. So that last one was number one, this is number two. three, four, five. All right, I made it back around and I have my 12 double crochets. Now, if you pull your tail, it'll close out that center circle a little bit more. Now I'm gonna go ahead and end round one by slip stitching into my first double crochet that I made. Not the chain one, the first double crochet. I'll have 12 stitches. And that'll end round one. So for round two, I'm going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. And I'm gonna work two double crochets right here into this very first stitch that we slip stitched into. Two doubles into that same stitch. And now I'm gonna work two doubles into the next stitch. And I'm gonna continue working around, putting two double crochets in every stitch until I get back to my starting point. Just like that. So two doubles in each stitch till you get back to the beginning. All right, I've made it back to the end of round two. I'm gonna go ahead and end with a slip stitch into my first double crochet, and now you should have 24 stitches. Now for round three, I'm going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. I'm gonna work one double crochet right there into that very first stitch that I slip stitched into, one double. Now the next stitch, I'm gonna put two double crochets into the same stitch. And now the repeat is one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochets into the next. Repeat it again, one double into the next stitch 
and two doubles into the next. So that should repeat for round three. One double, two doubles. One double, two doubles. One double, two doubles, all the way around until you get back to the beginning. All right, I've made it to the end of round three. We're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And now you should have 36 stitches. So round four, we're gonna chain one, doesn't count as a stitch. We're gonna put one double crochet right back there in that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. And now we're gonna put one double crochet into the next stitch. And then the next stitch is going to get two double crochets into the same stitch. So now we'll start our repeat for round four. We're gonna put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one double into the next stitch, one double into the next stitch, and then two doubles into the next. And then we're gonna repeat that again. One double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So there's one double. One double. And then two doubles into the next. And that's the pattern we're gonna repeat all the way around for round four. One double, one double, two doubles. One double, one double, two doubles. All the way around until we get back to the beginning. All right, I've made it to the end of round four. We're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And now you should have 48 stitches. For round five, we're gonna chain one, does not count as a stitch. And we're gonna go ahead and put one double crochet into that very first stitch that we slip stitched into. And we're gonna put one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch. And then the next stitch is going to get two double crochets into the same stitch. So now we start our repeat. It's one double crochet into the next three stitches. So there's one, two, and three. And then the next stitch will get two double crochets into the same stitch. Repeat that again. One double crochet into the next three stitches. So there's one, two, and three. And then the next one is two doubles into the same stitch. So that's the pattern we're gonna repeat now for round five. One double into the next three stitches, and then two doubles into the next. Again, one double into the next three, and then two doubles into the next. And we're gonna repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the beginning. All right, I've made it to the end of round five. We're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And now you have a total of 60 stitches. So for round six, I'm going to chain one, and now round six is just one double crochet in every stitch around. So we're not gonna be increasing anymore at this moment until we get to the brim. But for now, we're just gonna do the hat portion. So we're gonna go ahead and put one double crochet right there in that first stitch that we slip stitched into, just like always. And then one double crochet in every stitch until we get back around to the beginning. like this. So round six is just one double crochet in every stitch until we get back to our starting point. All right, I've made it to the end of round six and I want to go ahead and end with a slip stitch into my first double crochet and I still should have 60 stitches. Now round seven and eight are the repeat rounds for the main part of the hat until we get to the brim. So around seven, we're gonna chain one, which does not count as a stitch. We're going to go ahead and double crochet right here into the first stitch that we slip stitched into. 
and then we're going to chain one we're going to skip one and we're going to double crochet into the next and that's kind of the repeat we're going to chain one skip one and double crochet into the next so it's really pretty easy we're going to chain one skip one so skip this one double into the next chain one skip one and double into the next just like that and that's what we're going to repeat all the way around until we get back to the beginning chain one skip one double into the next chain one skip one and double into the next so i'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until i get back over here to my starting point all right i'm coming to the end of round seven i did it my last double crochet here and i have one stitch left i'm going to chain one i'm going to skip that last stitch and i'm going to end by slip stitching into my first double crochet now at the end of round seven you should have 30 double crochets and 30 chain one spaces for round eight i'm going to chain one double crochet right here back into that same stitch and i'm going to put one double crochet in every chain space and in every double crochet so i'm going to go ahead and double crochet right through this next chain space double crochet into the top of the next double crochet double crochet right here into the next chain space and then into the top of the next double into the next chain space into the top of the next double and that's what I'm going to repeat all the way around right into the next chain space and into the next double and into the next chain space you see I'm just going right through the space and double crocheting and then top of the next double so I'm going to repeat this pattern of working one double crochet in every chain space and in every double crochet until I get back to my starting point all right I'm coming to the end of round eight print double crochet there in that last chain space and with the slip stitch into your first double crochet and now you'll have 60 stitches again so now what we're going to do is just repeat rounds seven and eight till we get our hat as long as we need it to be so for round nine i'm just going to repeat round seven that's where we chain one go back into the same stitch and double crochet and then we chain one skip one and double into the next chain one skip one and double into the next so i'm going to continue repeating rounds seven and eight and i'll let you know in just a second how many total rounds i do so round seven and eight is the repeat okay i went ahead and i have done a total of 12 rounds and that is starting from round one all the way down equals 12. so you can look and see that i have three rounds of the chain one spaces now you try this on and if you feel like it's not long enough you can put uh uh more rounds but or less rounds but make sure you end in a round of just straight double crochet now what we're going to do round i did 12 rounds here for round 13 we're going to start the brim and it's really pretty easy too so we're going to chain one and we're going to put one double crochet back into that same stitch like that now i'm going to put one double crochet into the next two stitches so if you count that first double crochet we have three double crochets in a row now the next stitch i'm going to put two double crochets into the same stitch so we're increasing now on uh, round uh, 13. and this is the brim the start of the brim so i'm going to repeat i'm going to put one double crochet into the next three stitches 
There's one, two, and three. And then the next stitch is going to get two double crochets into the same stitch. Repeat it again. One double crochet into the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three. And then two double crochets into the next. So that's a repeat now for round 13. One double crochet in the next three, and then two double crochets into the next. One double into the next three, two doubles in the next, and we're gonna repeat that pattern all the way around till we get back to the beginning. All right, I have made it to the end of round 13. You wanna go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your first double crochet, and, and now you'll have a total of 75 stitches. Now what I'm going to do, we're not going to increase any more. We're just going to do some rounds of double crochet to make the brim bigger. So I'm just going to chain one, doesn't count as a stitch. Go back into that same stitch there that we slip stitched into, double crochet. And I'm going to go around and I'm going to work one double crochet in every stitch. We're on round 14 now. And I'm going to continue all the way around, putting one double in every stitch until I get back to the beginning. Just like that. Okay, I come to the end of round 14. I still have my 75 stitches. Go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your first double crochet. Now, if you wanna make your brim longer, you can, you can make it however long you want. I'm going to quit here and I'm going to finish it off round 15 with a round of single crochet. So I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go back into the same stitch and single crochet. And now I'm just going to work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. This is round 15. This is just going to neaten up the edge a little bit. Just like this. So one single on every stitch until you get back to your starting point. All right, I made it back around. I should have 75 single crochets. Go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your first single crochet. Not that chain one, but the first single. And we can go ahead and clip this yarn and tie it off. And that is it that's all there is to it now remember you could have made that brim as long as you wanted so super easy little nice little uh summer hat i hope you enjoyed my tutorial hey don't don't please don't forget to check out all my tutorials i have hundreds and hundreds of crochet tutorials um also lots of yarn reviews and all kinds of stuff on my channel just take a minute to look around um and, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe if you look up in the left hand corner right now you see a picture of my face if you click on that my face you'll automatically be subscribed and you'll never miss any of my videos thanks everybody for watching and have a good day hi everybody this is crystal so today i'm going to show you how to make that hat that you just seen on the mannequin here it is right here it's got a little flower in the button which you of course you can um, leave that off if you want and it's got the little brim here that kind of flaps over um, the sides of your eyes just a little bit. And you can always make this brim longer. I explain that later in the video. Um, it's got a little band, just a band of single crochet. And the rest is feast stitches. It's actually really pretty easy. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on it. I'll set this to the side. Uh, today I'm using the Red Hop Red Heart Hopscotch yarn. Um, it's got a little bit of a fuzz. It almost feels wooly. But... I mean, it's it's a quite nice yarn to work with. I enjoyed working with it. Um, there are 210 yards per skein, and you'll just need one skein to make this hat. And the color that I use is called Summer Salt. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, and when you hit the subscribe button, the little bell will come up. If you click that, you'll always get notified every time I put on a new tutorial. And then I'm going to be using a size H, 
which is a five millimeter crochet hook. Okay, you want to start off with the slip knot on your hook. And then we're going to start off with a chain of four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. And you can use the magic circle here if you prefer. Okay, and then you want to chain one. Now that chain one I did does not count as anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and work a V-stitch through the center of the ring. So we do a V-stitch by doing a double crochet, a chain one, and another double crochet. So that's the V. Double, chain one, double. Now we want to work six total V stitches through the center. So this would be my first one. So I'm going to go ahead and do another one. I'm going to double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. So that's two V stitches. And you can slide them over as you go. Do another one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So that's three V stitches. There's four V stitches. Now I'm not chaining in between the V stitches. Just only the chain of the V stitch. Now I've lost track of how many I have. I think I got five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I want to do one more. So I'm going to slide it over. And I'm going to have a total of six. Just like that. So once you got your six V stitches, you can pull your tail. And usually that center circle will close up a bit more. Now you want to end round one by slip stitching into the first double crochet of the first V stitch. Just like that. And now you'll have six V stitches at the end of round one. So we're going to slip stitch one time to that chain one space of the first V stitch. So go ahead and slip stitch right into there. And we're going to chain one. Now that chain one doesn't count as anything. Now we're going to do um, a V-stitch increase in this space. So what we're going to do is go through and do a double crochet, a chain of one, same spot, another double crochet, a chain of one, and the same spot, another double crochet. So what that is, it's like you have two V-stitches there, kind of. If you look this one and then this center one counts as this one too so there's like two there and that's what we want to do in every chain one space of the six v stitches from the previous round so we'll go ahead and we'll find the next chain the next v stitch is right here the chain one space so we'll go right into it and we're going to do a double crochet a chain of one a double crochet a chain of one and another double crochet just like that so now again we'll find the next V stitch the chain one space of the next V stitch and we'll do it again go right into it double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and another double crochet and we're going to do that in each of the six V stitches. So we got three of them done. So we'll just continue around to the next one. Double, chain one, double, chain one, and double. Okay, the next one. Double, chain one, double, chain one, and double. Nope. I pulled out my yarn. I got a bunch of yarn barf. Hate that. Sorry about that. And then we'll have one V stitch left here, and we want to do the same thing into that. Double. Chain one. Double. Chain one. And one more double in the same spot. Now we'll end row or round two 
by slip stitching into the first double crochet of that first V stitch increase. Now what you'll have now is you'll have six of these V stitch increases still. That's what I call them. These right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or you're going to have 12 chain one spaces. Okay. Okay, so we're going to slip stitch one time to this first chain one space. And we're going to work we're going to chain one, which doesn't count as anything, and we're going to work a regular V stitch into this first chain one space. So we're going to yarn over and double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Just like that. Now into the next chain one space, we'll do, we're going to do a V stitch increase. So that's where we're going to go in and we're going to do a double crochet, chain one. A double crochet, a chain one, and then another double crochet, just like that. So we're going to jump over here to the next chain one space. It's not this space right here in between these V stitches. This is not a chain one. It's right over here, these two chain spaces, one here and one here. We're going to do a regular V stitch into the first chain one space. And then in the next chain one space, we'll do the V stitch increase again. So we'll go ahead and double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Just like that. Now we jump right over here, and you can see these two chain one spaces again. We do a regular double crochet into the first one, or a regular V stitch, I'm sorry, into the first one. So a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then the next one we'll get the V stitch increase. So that'll be a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Just like that. Now we're going to do that all the way around. The next one right here, it'll be a regular V-stitch and then a V-stitch increase. Regular V-stitch and a V-stitch increase. And you want to do that until you get back around to the beginning. Okay, I'm coming around to the end of round three and I did my last V-stitch here and my last chain one space is going to be a V-stitch increase. So, chain or double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one and one more double crochet and you want to end round three by slip stitching into the first double crochet of your first V stitches. Now what you'll have at the end of round three you'll have six regular V stitches and then you'll have six of the V stitch increases. Okay for round four we're going to slip stitch one time to the first chain one space and we're going to chain one. Doesn't count as anything. Now we're going to work a regular V stitch right here in the first V stitch. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Now we're going to jump to the next chain one space. It's actually the first chain one of this V stitch increase. And we're going to do a regular V stitch into the first chain one of it. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Now the next chain space right here of this V-stitch increase from the previous round, we're going to do a V-stitch increase in it. So we're going to go into it and do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, oh, chain one, and one more double crochet. And that's kind of what we're going to repeat all the way around. So we're going to do it a regular V-stitch into the next V-stitch. That. And then this V-stitch increase from the previous round, we're going to do a regular V-stitch into the first chain one space of it and a V-stitch increase into the next chain one space of it. So go ahead to the first chain one and do a regular V-stitch. And the next one we'll do a V stitch increase. So we'll go in and double crochet, chain one, 
double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Now we're just going to keep repeating that. So we do a regular V stitch into the top of this next, or into the chain one space up to the next V stitch. Now this V stitch increase right here from the previous round, we do a regular V stitch into the first chain one space of it, and a V stitch increase into the next chain one space of it. So go ahead and do a regular V stitch into the first chain one, and then the V stitch increase into the next chain one space of it. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Now we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around to the end of round four. So it'll be a regular double crochet, or I'll keep saying that, a regular V stitch, a regular V stitch, and then a V stitch increase. Regular V, regular V, and V stitch increase until you get back to the beginning. Okay, I'm coming to the end of round four and I just did my last V stitch increase, so I'm going to slip stitch end up by slip stitching into the first double crochet of the first V and now you should have 12 regular V stitches and 12 or and six of the V stitch increases this time around so for round, round five we're going to do one more row of increases so we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the first chain one space of the first V chain one and we're going to work a V stitch right back into that chain one space And then we're going to work a V-stitch into the next V-stitch. And then we're going to work a V-stitch in the first chain one space of the next V-stitch increase. It's just a regular V-stitch. And now we're going to do a V-stitch increase into the next chain one space of this V-stitch increase from the previous round. So go ahead and do a double crochet, a chain one, double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet. So we're going to repeat that again. We're going to put three V stitches in a row and then a V stitch increase. So go ahead and put a V stitch into the next chain one space. A V stitch into the next chain one space a V stitch here into the next chain one space and then a V stitch increase into the next chain one space double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and another double crochet and again I'm going to repeat that three V stitches in, in each of the next chain one spaces and then a V stitch increase three v, v stitches again into the next chain one spaces and then a V stitch increase and I'm going to repeat that all the way around to the end of round five okay I made it to the end of round five and I have you'll have um, 18 regular V stitches and six of the V stitch increases this time. So you want to go ahead and round five by slip stitching into the first double crochet of the first V. Now for round six, we're not going to do any more increases right now. What we're going to do is just slip stitch over to the first chain one space, chain one, and now we're going to do a V stitch, regular V stitch in chain one of every V stitch and then the chain one of every V stitch increase. So I'm just going to yarn over and do a double cur or a, do a V stitch. Jump to the next chain one space and do a V stitch. And the next chain one space and do a V stitch. And 
and then you can see here was the V stitch increase from the previous row just do a V stitch in each one of the chain one spaces so no more increasing this time just straight V stitches in every chain one space and I'm gonna do this until I get back around to the beginning Okay, I've made it to the end of round six, and now you want to end it by slip stitching into that first double crochet of that first V. And now you should have a total of 30 V stitches. And now we're just going to do rounds of V stitches for a little while. So we're just going to repeat that last round that we did. We're going to slip stitch over into the first chain one space, chain one, and then we're going to do a V stitch in the first chain one space. And then a V stitch into the next chain one space. And again, another V stitch. And we're just going to do one V stitch to every chain one space all the way around, just like we did on row six. So I'm just going to keep repeating the last row that we did. And you should always have 30 V stitches at the end of every row. like that. Now the hat will start coming down a little bit. Okay, I went ahead and repeated that row six for a total of 11 rounds. And that's starting from the very beginning. I have 11 now total. And you should have 30 um, V stitches now. And I know it probably looks a little bit big to you, and that's fine. You didn't do anything wrong. It's supposed to look like that. But now we're going to tighten it back up a little bit to make it feel a little bit tighter. So um, around 12 we I slip stitched right there just that's how I ended my round so for round 12 I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go back into the same stitch the same double crochet and I'm going to do a single crochet and then I'm going to single crochet into the next double crochet I'm skipping that chain space and just going right into the double crochet single crochet into the next double crochet skip the chain space and single crochet into the next double crochet so I'm just for round 12 I'm just single crocheting in every double crochet of every V stitch I'm not putting anything in the chain one space only I'm skipping that only the double crochets is I'm putting a single crochet in them and I'm going to do that all the way around until I get back to the beginning. One single crochet in every double crochet of every V stitch. Nothing in the chain one spaces. We're just skipping that entirely. Just like that. So you want to continue that all the way around until you get back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 12. And now you should have a total of 60 single crochets. Now I'm not going to end with the slip stitch. I'm actually going to work it around now. So you want to use the stitch marker. I'm just going to use this piece of yarn right here. And I'm going to stick it right here. That way I know where my round ends and where it begins. So 60 stitches at the end of round 12. So for round 13 I'm going to jump over to the first single crochet. Not the chain one but the first single crochet. And I'm going to single crochet right into it. And now I'm going to work around putting one single crochet in every stitch again. All the way back to my stitch marker. And then when I get back to my stitch marker, I still should have 60 stitches. And then I will move my marker up and go around again. So I'm going to do a few rounds of single crochet now to kind of put a band on the hat. So continue working around one single crochet in every stitch until you get to your stitch marker and when you get to that you just move it up and then you continue around again you should always have 60 stitches when you make it back to your stitch marker 
Okay, I went ahead and repeated those rounds of single crochet until I hit a total of 16 rounds total. That's counting from the very top, 16. So we did, from the very top, we did 11 rounds of the V stitches. And then I did 5 rounds of the single crochet. So, and you still should have, you should have 30 stitches now. Now what we're going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch. Now you can move that stitch marker because we're not going to need it right now. Go ahead and take it out. Now I'm going to start putting um, the rim kind of on the hat. And we're going to work a V stitches again. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go back into that same stitch and work a regular V stitch. So double crochet, chain one double crochet like that now I'm gonna skip one stitch and I'm gonna do a V stitch increase into the next so I'm gonna go in to the next remember you're skipping one going into the next and doing your V stitch increase so that's where we double crochet chain one go back in double crochet chain one go back in the same stitch and double crochet I'm gonna skip one and I'm going to do a regular V into the next. Just a regular V stitch. Like that. Now I'm going to skip one and do a V stitch increase into the next. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Skip one. Do a regular V stitch into the next. Skip one and do a V stitch increase into the next. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. We're on round 17 now. So it's skip one, a regular V stitch, skip one, V stitch increase, skip one, regular, skip one, increase. All the way around until you get back to the beginning. Okay, I've come to the end of round 17. Um, my last stitch was a V stitch increase. You should have one stitch left to skip, so go ahead and skip that and end round 17 with a slip stitch into the first double crochet of the first V. Now you should have. Um, 15 regular V stitches and 15 V stitch increases this time around. So now we're going to do it for round 18 is slip stitch one time into the first V stitch, chain one, and go back into it and V stitch. Just like that. Now I'm going to put one V stitch in every single chain one space no more increasing now so it's just one v stitch in every v stitch every, every chain one space space of every v stitch and every chain one space of every v stitch increase all the way around until you get back to the beginning so it's just straight v stitches now on round 18 like that V stitch in every chain one space until you get back around to the beginning okay once you make it to the end of round 18 just go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your first double crochet and you should have 45 V stitches now what you want to do for round 19 is just repeat round 18, slip stitch over into your first V stitch, chain one, and it's just one V stitch in every V stitch, or the chain one space of every V stitch all the way around again. So we're just repeating, uh, for round 19 we're just repeating round 18, just like this. So when you make it back around, at the end of round 19 you still should have 45 V stitches. So just go ahead and repeat the previous round one more time. Okay, once you make it to the end of round 19, 
got your 45 via stitches going in with a slip stitch into your first V stitch and I'm going to go ahead and tie off here. Now you can continue to do rows of V stitches if you want the brim part of your hat, I guess is what it's called, to be lower. That's fine. You just might need more yarn than what I initially said in the beginning. But if, yeah, but if you want it longer, you can just continue doing rounds of the 45 V stitches. That's completely up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and tie off right now and hide this tail. Okay, I want to make a flower for mine. This is optional. You don't have to do that. But if you want to, go ahead and start with a slip knot. This is a simple little flower. And we're going to start with a chain of five. Now we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. Just like that. Now we're going to start with a chain of four. One, two, three, four. Now that chain of four is going to act as a triple crochet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work three more triple crochets into the center of our circle. So we're going to yarn over twice, go in and work our triple crochet three times. So that's one, two, and there's three. Now I'm going to chain four, and I'm going to slip stitch right back into the ring. And that is our first petal. And we're going to have five petals. So we're going to repeat that again. We're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And you could slide this over as you go. And I'm going to work three triple crochets through the ring. So one, two, three. And then I'm going to chain four and go through the center of the ring and slip stitch. And that is petal number two. And keep sliding it over there. Start again, chain four, three triples through the ring. One, two, three, chain four. Oops, lost that one and slip stitch back into the center of the ring again. So now I got three petals and I'm going to keep going until I get five. Okay, I did my last petal and I chain four. Just go ahead and slip stitch into the center of the ring and then clip your yarn off. If you want to clip it a little longer so we can sew it on, that'd probably be a good idea. Like that, and there you go. Pull that to make your center circle smaller. I will probably put a little button here or something in the middle. I usually do that, but then you can just take your hat. Um, if you want to look, put it on whatever side you want. If you want to put the flower on, let me pull my camera up a bit here, and you can just sew it right onto the brim just like that uh, with a regular yarn just your tail that you left and a yarn needle so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick I'm gonna find the back of my hat actually and make it make sure it stays in the bag I guess you can't really right here's the back of my hat so I'm gonna keep it to the back and I'll just sew my flower kind of up here to where it'll be on the side of the the hat. Maybe right up here. And just take your yarn needle and just sew it right onto the brim. Or not the brim, I guess, the uh, the band. Single crochet band. That's where I'm going to sew mine onto. And just sew it a couple times until you feel like it's come back up through the petal like that. Until you feel like it's on tight. And then I'll probably sew a button. Maybe. If I can find a good button. A button in the middle of my um, flower. 
if I have one. I don't know. I'll have to check out my button supply, see what I got. But So I'm going to go ahead and finish this out. Sewing this on, just like this. And if you want to sew a button in the middle, you can do that. I'm going to look through mine still. And remember, you could have just left this flower off completely. That was entirely up to you if you wanted to put the flower on it or not. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up here. And now it's on pretty tight. I may not put a button. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and finish and tie, hide these tails. Okay, I got my flower sewed on. I dug through my buttons and I kind of I found a little blingy button. I like blingy stuff. It's kind of a five petal flower, so I thought that looked pretty good. I put it right in the center. Um, this button came from Walmart. If anybody's interested in it, that's where I got it. But remember, you don't have to do the button and you don't even have to do the flower. That's completely up to you. But that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoy my tutorial channel and check out all my other tutorials. And until next time, have a good day. Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this sun hat here. It's uh, actually really easy to make. It's a adult sun hat. Unless you can use fabric stiffener and maybe stiffen out this rim. Otherwise it does have a bit of a ruffle as you've seen in the picture. But I, um, it's actually really easy. It's all single crochet. But then again, it's really time consuming because it's all single crochet. A lot of stitches down here in every row. So, but it's not bad. I, I would estimate it probably, it probably did take me about four hours to make this hat. Usually I can whip up a regular hat in about... Uh, an hour so if that would give you any three and a half to four hours so it did take me a little bit of time I guess I did have some a few interruptions but but yeah easy though as long as it's all single crochet and slip stitches at the top so let's go ahead and get started on this all right for this project I used I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby it is a 100% cotton it's a nice soft cotton um, there are 180 yards or 3.5 ounces, 100 grams in one ball. Now this is all I have left of one ball. It took me one ball and this is what, this is it. So if you decide to make yours in a solid color, you might need more. But if not, you know, around 180 yards will do it for the solid color portion. You don't have to use this brand. Any, It's a medium weight for yarn. I apologize. Where does it say that at? Yeah, it's a medium weight four. Um, you don't have to use this yarn. Any type of medium weight four yarn will work. Might I suggest, though, since it's a summer hat, maybe some type of cotton or cotton blend will be cooler. But acrylic will work also. Um, and then, oh, this color that I use, the main color I use is called Antique Cream. And then the other color I use is the same brand and everything. It's called Monkey Brown. And I probably just used about, there's a uh, bad guess, maybe 50 yards of this. Probably not even quite that. Maybe 50 yards, something like that. Of the my second color. And then I'm going to be using a size J, which is a 6 millimeter crochet hook. All right, I just want to take one second to ask you not to forget to subscribe to my channel. If you look in the lower right-hand corner, you see a little red subscribe button. If you go ahead and click on that, you'll never miss any of my videos. If you're already subscribed, though, don't click on it. You'll be unsubscribed. <laughs> and if you uh, like this video and you like the hat, you could give this video a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out. Okay, we're going to start off with a slip knot on our hook. And we're going to work a chain of three. And then we're going to slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring. Now, if you prefer to use the magic circle here, that's fine too. Now we're going to chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to be working back through the center of our little ring here. So kind of pull it apart. And we're going to work six single crochets through that ring single crochets one two 
two, three, four, five, and six. And now right here, you're gonna need some type of a stitch marker. I'm just gonna use this piece of yarn here. That way you know where to end and where where you begin. So go ahead and put your stitch marker right there after your sixth single crochet. And that will end um, round one. We're gonna work in continual rounds so we won't be slip stitching. We're just gonna continue around. You'll have a total of six single crochets now. Remember, we don't count that chain one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna jump to that first single crochet that we made and we're gonna put two, to start round two, we're gonna put two single crochets into that first single crochet we made. So there's one and two. Now I'm gonna work two single crochets in every stitch until we get back to our starting point. So there's two into the next and then two into the next We're going to do this till we get back to our stitch marker. Okay, I made it back to my stitch marker. And now you should have a total of 12 stitches. You want to go ahead and pull your marker up and put it right back here. And then we'll start round three. And we're going to put one single crochet into the first stitch. And then two single crochets into the next. And that is what we'll repeat now for round three. One single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochets into the next. One single into the next, and then two singles into the next. One single into the next, and then two singles into the next. We're gonna repeat this until we get back around to our stitch marker. All right, I've made it back to my marker. Now, every time you make it back to your marker, you should end where there's two single crochets into that stitch before the marker. So that'll end around three, and now you should have a total of 18 stitches. So we're gonna go ahead and pull our marker up, and now we're gonna start round four. And we're gonna put one single crochet into the next two stitches. So there's one, one in the next. Now the next stitch will get two single crochets into the same stitch. And that's the repeat now for round four. One single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then two single crochets in to the next. One single into the next two stitches. And then two singles into the next. So we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. All right, I've made it to the end of round four. And as you can see, I ended right before the stitch marker. There's two single crochets into that last stitch. And now you'll have a total of 24 stitches. Go ahead and move your marker up. And we'll start round five. This time it's going to be one single crochet into the first three stitches. One, two, 
three, and then two singles into the next. One and two. And that's what we're gonna repeat for round five. One single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three, and two singles into the next. One single into the next three. And two into the next. And we're going to go ahead and repeat this pattern all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. Okay, I've made it to the end of round five. I'm at my stitch, mar stitch marker. My last stitch had those two single crochets in it. And now I have a total of 30 stitches. Go ahead and move my marker up. And we're going to start round six. Round six is a one single crochet into the next four stitches. One two, three, four, and then two single crochets into the next. And that's what we repeat for round six. One single crochet into the next four stitches. Two singles into the next. So what we're doing is we're just gradually increasing our circle so it says relatively flat it'll pop up a bit but should be able to make it stay pretty flat so i'm going to continue that pattern of one single crochet into the next four and two single crochets in the next all the way around until i get back to my stitch marker all right i've made it to the end of round six and it's okay if it's popping up it'll lay flat more flat later you're not doing anything wrong if it's looking like that okay um made it to the end of round six and now i have a total of 36 stitches so I'm going to move my marker up and I'm going to start again now it's one single crochet into the next five stitches this is round seven we're starting and two singles into the next one single into the next five two singles into the next and that's a pattern we're going to repeat now for round seven one single into the next five two singles the next all the way around till you get back to your stitch marker all right i've made it to the end of round seven now back i made it to my stitch marker you should have a total of 42 stitches i'm going to start round eight by moving my stitch marker up and now we're going to start by doing one single crochet into the next six stitches. You probably knew that already, though. And two single crochets into the next. So that's a repeat for round eight. One single crochet into the next six and two single crochets into the next all the way around till you get back to your stitch marker all right i've made it to the end of round eight 48 stitches go ahead and move your marker up round nine one single crochet into the first seven stitches Two singles into the next and that's the pattern now for round nine one single crochet to the next seven stitches two single crochets into the next I'm gonna repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back to my stitch marker. All right, I've made it to my stitch stitch marker at the end of round nine. Should I have a total of 54 stitches? Go ahead and move your marker up, and we'll go ahead and start round 10. One single crochet into the next eight stitches.
and then two single crochets into the next. So that's what I'm going to repeat now for round 10. One single crochet into the next eight and two single crochets in the next all the way around until I get back to my stitch marker. All right, I made it to the end of round 10. 60 stitches total now. Move your marker up. Round 11, one single crochet into the first nine stitches and then two single crochets into the next. And then we'll repeat that. One single crochet into the next nine and two single crochets into the next. All the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. All right, I've made it to the end of round 11. 66 stitches now. Go ahead and move your marker up. Round 12 is one single crochet into the first or into the next 10 stitches and two single crochets into the next. And that's what we repeat for round 12. One single into the next 10 and two singles into the next. All the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. All right, I've made it to the end of round 12 and I'm gonna go ahead and move my marker up and I'm gonna start round 13. You should have 72 stitches now. So round 13 is one single crochet into the next 11 stitches and then two single crochet into the next. And you repeat that, one single crochet into the next 11 and two single crochets into the next all the way around until you get back to your stitch marker again. All right, I've made it to the end of round 13 and now you'll have a total of 78 stitches. I'm gonna do one more round of increases. So round 14, I'm gonna move my stitch marker up and now I'm gonna do a one single crochet into the next 12 stitches and then two single crochets into the next one single crochet into the next 12 stitches and two single crochets into the next and i'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around until i get back to my stitch marker all right i've made it to the end of round 14 and you should have a total of 84 stitches now so now what we're going to do is move our stitch marker up round 15 we are going to go around and we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch, but I'm going to be working in the back loop only. So if you see the stitch, each stitch has two loops. The one closest to you is your front loop and the one furthest away is the back loop. We're going to be working in the back loop only on this round 15. So I'm going to go to the very first stitch here, to the back loop of it only, and single crochet. And I'm going to do that all the way around. I'm going to go to the next stitch, back loop only, one single crochet. Same for the next. Remember, we're not going to be increasing the crown anymore. Now we're going to be working the main portion of the hat. Back loop only, one single crochet. And I'm going to put one single crochet, back loop only, into every single stitch until I get back around to my stitch marker. We're on round 15 now. And that's creating that little ridge that you see. So I'm going to continue around with my one single in the back loop only of every stitch until I get back to my stitch marker. And I'll meet back up with you when I make it all the way around. All right, I've made it back around to the end of round 15 and I have still have 84 stitches. So that's what the number of stitches we're going to have uh, for the main portion of the hat now, following my size. So what I'm going to do is move my stitch marker up and now I'm just going to be doing rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, but I'm going to be working through both loops now from now on. So I'm just going to jump to the Next single crochet here after the stitch marker go through both loops though this time. We're just working normal single crochets now. And I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch around. I'm on round 16 now until I get back to my stitch marker. When I make it back to my stitch marker, all I'm going to do, I'll have 84 stitches still, is pull it up, move it up, and start again. 
working one single crochet in every stitch. So it's just rounds of single crochet now. And and after a little after you get a few rounds going, you should start to see the hat kind of bend down a bit. It might take several rounds before you see that. But I'm going to continue working rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. 84 stitches at the end of every round. Just keep moving your stitch marker up. I'm on round 16 now. And you want to do that for a total of 28 rounds. Okay, now I've made it to round 28. I, <clears throat> I'm going to switch colors here. You don't have to switch colors if you don't want to. But I'm going to switch here. So I'm going to tie this collar off. And, uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm at the end of round 28. See my stitch marker there? I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into that stitch there. The next stitch there. And I'm going to clip this collar off. I'm not very good at collar changing <clears throat> without tying off my, co my collar. So. Alright, now I'm going to bring in my new collar. I still should have my 84 stitches and I'm just going to do um, four rounds of single crochet in this color. So I'm going to start right here in that next stitch where my stitch marker is. So right kind of where we slip stitched and I'm going to pull my new yarn through and I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to go back into the same stitch there and single crochet. And now I'm going to go work around. I'm going to try to hide my tails there as I go. Putting one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. Now if you want not to change colors here, if you want it to be solid, just continue with your solid color until you get um, 32 rounds total. But right now we're on we were this is starting around 29. One single crochet in every stitch until you right back here. Okay, I've made it around at the end of round 29, so I'm just gonna put my stitch marker back here and start working with the stitch marker again. Still got your 84 stitches. Just jump over to the first single crochet we did, not the chain one, but the first single crochet and continue. I'm on round 30 right now. I'm just going to continue around putting one single crochet in every stitch. So just like we were. And we want to do this until we reach a total of 32 rounds. Get back around, move your marker up and do round 31. Move your marker up again and finish out round 32. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 32, and I made it to my stitch marker. I'm going to go ahead and tie off and bring back in my first collar. So I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch there into my first, that stitch where the stitch marker's at. You should still have 84 stitches. I'm going to clip this, and I'm going to, now we're going to start on the brim of the hat. So just clip that off. I'm going to take that stitch marker out there. All right. So I'm going to bring back in that my first color I was using and I'm going to start it right there into the same stitch that I just slip stitched into. So now we're going to be increasing to make the brim of the hat. So go ahead and go into that first stitch and chain one. Now what we want to do is five single crochets in a row and then in the next stitch, we'll put two single crochets into the same stitch. So we're going to go right back into the, the same stitch that we started in. And that's going to be our first single crochet. So we want to do five in a row. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Now the next stitch, we'll put two single crochets into the same stitch. And that's the repeat now. This is round 33 that we're on. This round 33 starts the brim of the hat. 
So again, one single crochet into the next five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and five, and then two single crochets into the next. And this is a pattern we're going to repeat all the way around until we get back here to our starting point. One single crochet into the next five, and then two single crochets into the next. And repeat that, and I'll meet back up with you right over here. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 33, and you should have a total of 98 stitches now. Go ahead and put your stitch marker there. Now what we're going to do for round, that was 33, round 34, is we're just going to put one single crochet in every stitch. So this round we will not increase. Make sure you go into the first single crochet, not that chain one. And I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch around until I get back to the beginning. No increasing on this round. This is round 34. So I'm going to continue around one single in every stitch until I get back, back, or back around to my stitch marker. All right, I've made it to the end of round 34 and I still have 98 stitches. Okay, I'm going to move my marker up for round 35 and I'm going to do an increase round again. This time I'm going to put one single crochet into the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the next stitch I'm going to put two single crochets into the same stitch. And that's what I'm going to repeat all the way around. One single crochet into the next six stitches. Three, four, five, six, and then two single crochets into the next. And I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around until I get back to my stitch marker. One single crochet into the next six and two single crochets into the next. All right, I've come to the end of round 35 and now you should have 112 stitches. Go ahead and move your stitch marker up. And now I'm gonna do for round 36 and now you should have 112 stitches. Go ahead and pull your stitch marker up and I'm gonna increase again now I'm going to put one single crochet into the first seven, or into the next seven stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then two double crochets into the next stitch. And that's what I'm going to repeat now for this round one single crochet into the next seven stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two single crochets into the next. And I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back to my stitch marker. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 36, and I should have a total of 126 stitches now. I'm going to move my marker up, and I'm going to increase again. So now what I'm going to do is one single crochet into the first eight stitches, or into the next eight. One, two, three, four, five. seven, eight, and then two single crochets into the next. And that's the repeat now for round 37. 
one single crochet into the next eight stitches and two single crochets into the next. It's okay if it's starting to look kind of pointy at some parts, that's just fine. Don't worry about that. So one single crochet into the next eight and then two single crochets into the next all the way around until you get back to your starting point. All right, I've made it to the end of round 37, and you'll have 140 stitches now. I'm gonna do one more row of increases, so I'm gonna move my marker up, and I am going to put one single crochet into the first nine stitches, or into the next nine stitches. nine and then two single crochets into the next and that's a repeat now for round 38. one single crochet into the next nine and then two single crochets into the next and you want to repeat that pattern all the way around until you get back to your stitch marker all right i've made it to the end of round 38. i have a hundred and fifty four stitches now so we're done increasing unless you want your brim longer you keep increasing in the same manner i'm going to stop now so what i'm going to do i'm going to do two more rows but no increasing or two more rounds i guess i'm going to move my stitch marker up now i'm going to work around and i'm just going to put one single crochet we're on round 39 in every stitch all the way around no increasing just one single in every stitch until I get back to my stitch marker. Just like that. Alrighty, I've made it to the end of round 39. I still have my 154 stitches. What I'm going to do now is switch color. So I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into my next stitch and tie this color off. I'm gonna go ahead and move that stitch marker because I'm not gonna really need it anymore. Put that off. And now I'm gonna bring in my other color that I was using and I'm gonna do one round of single crochet in this color. So I'm gonna start my yarn right there where I just slip stitched. And let's see here. I'll try to hide those tails as I go. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go back into that same stitch in a single crochet. And I'm just going to work a round of one single crochet in every stitch with this color until I get back to the beginning. This is round 40. The final round. If you want to continue with the same color, that was fine, you, you know. But I went ahead and switched over. So one single crochet in every stitch, no increasing or anything, until you get back to your starting point. All right, I made it to the end of round 40, 154 stitches still. Go ahead and slip stitch into your first single crochet. Not that chain one, but the single crochet. Tie that off. And then you can hide that tail, which I'll do that in a minute. And now I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to go around this top here with some of my uh, color B, the dark color that we were just using here, just to decorate it up a little bit. So we want the hat facing, the top of the hat facing you like this. Now remember, remember earlier when we went and we only went through the back loop of the stitch and that left this ridge here. These are the remaining front loops that we didn't go through. So that's what we're gonna be working in. So you can pick up any one of those loops. Now you just have to be careful not to stretch it out too much since it's only one loop that you're going through. Just be careful because they can stretch easy. You, want, you don't want it to get too stretchy. We're gonna slip stitch all the way around with this dark color. So I'm gonna go through and I'm going to just do a chain one there at the beginning. And now I'm going to jump to the next loop 
it's just that one front loop and slip stitch. It gets, uh, I find it a little difficult, I guess, at the beginning, I'm trying not to stretch out my loops, but you'll get the hang of it. Jump to the next, the next loop, it's just one loop there, that loop that we didn't go through back earlier, and slip stitch. You'll get the hang of it and it'll start speeding by. Go to the next loop and slip stitch. Now you can use the same color if you want as the top of your hat. It's really up to you. It's just kind of this is it's like a little decorative additive, I guess. But I'm gonna do this all the way around, making this slip stitch at the top going through that one front loop that we didn't, that we skipped way back on. Way earlier when we were making the crown, we skipped that one loop and now we're working in it again. To kind of put a, just a little decorative edge here at the top. So I'm going to do this all the way around, slip stitching in each one of these front loops. My hands are probably in the way. It's hard for me to look through the camera and record. I had to look through the side. So um, on the side of the camera, because it hurts my eyes if I look through it. So sometimes I get off camera or my hand gets in the way and I don't realize it till I check. So I, I apologize. But I'm gonna continue this around and this is what it kind of starts to look like. It's just, it's a little decorative edge on the top of it, you know look a little bit cooler I guess I don't know if it makes it look that much cooler but I'm gonna go ahead and do my slip stitch all the way around back to the beginning all right I've made it all the way around with my slip stitches I should have 84 slip stitches now that don't have to be exact as long as you have somewhere pretty close to that you know it's not really gonna matter um, now we're gonna go ahead and slip stitch into our first slip stitch here or our first chain one that we did actually Probably going to be difficult because it's real tight. And then I'm going to tie that off. Yay! Now I'm going to hide all my remaining tails real quick. All right, that's it. Once you get all your tails hidden, that's all there is to it. And I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Like I said, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you look up in the left hand corner right now, you see a picture of my face, go ahead and click on my face and you'll automatically be subscribed if you haven't subscribed yet. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And over there on the right, there's a playlist to all my hats. If you want to check out other hats, uh, you can go have a look at them if you want. So, and until next time, have a good day. Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, women's shell stitch um, summer hat. And you can make the brim, and you can adjust the size of the brim and make it longer or shorter. I don't know, if you, I got a picture of it in the beginning, so if you want it longer or shorter than that, you can always make it however you want. Um, it's, all, it's entirely made of a shell stitch, so it's not hard actually, it's pretty easy. And you can always put a flower or something on it. If you'd like, I think on my mannequin, it actually kind of looks like one of them, like 1920 styles hats, kind of. But I think, I think it turned out pretty good. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Um, I'm actually using peaches and cream. I got a cone of it. This is 100% cotton. That's what I'm using. Since it's summer, cotton would be a lot cooler. You can make it in acrylic, but. It, uh, I probably recommend cotton for it being a summer hat, but uh, acrylic works too. As long as it's um, um, a medium acrylic, it will work just fine. Um, this is this regular yellow that I'm using. Um, I had this big cone, so I don't know exactly how many yards. Don't hold me to it, but I'm going to guess it's probably a little over 200 probably. So if you get these small skeins, you're probably going to need two of them. But don't hold me to that. I'm just... I hope that's right because I had this big cone and I'm not sure how much of it took it might I don't know you might need three but and then I'm going to be using a size 
J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. Okay, and we're gonna start off with a slip knot on our hook, and we're gonna work a chain of five. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we're gonna slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. And if you are good at the magic circle, you can use that. I'm no good at it, so I never use it. Okay, now we're gonna start off with a chain of one. Now that chain of one doesn't count as anything. So we're gonna go back through the center of the ring and we're gonna do one single crochet, like that. And now I'm gonna work a shell, and a shell consists of five double crochets. So I'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and work five double crochets through the center of the ring. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. So that's our first shell, and you wanna keep sliding it over as you go. And now I'm gonna do a single crochet through the center. And we wanna have a total of four shells. So now I'm gonna work another shell. So I'm gonna work five double crochets again. There's one, two, three, four, my tail's getting in the way and five so that is my second shell I'm gonna slide it over and then I'm gonna put a single crochet and now I'm gonna work another shell right through the center of the ring there's one two three four and five that's three shells slide it over you want to single crochet again into the center of the ring and now we're going to work one last shell so five more double crochets there's one two three four and five and now we're going to end with a slip stitch into our first single crochet that we did not the chain one that we made but the very first single crochet you just slip stitch right into it and you'll have four of these shells at the end of round one so what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch over to the middle of this first shell so it's the third stitch in the shell. So we're gonna slip stitch. One, two, and three times, and you'll be in the middle stitch of the first shell. So what we're gonna do is we're going to chain one, and we're gonna go right back into that same stitch and do a single crochet, like that. And now down here in this single crochet, so we're just gonna skip these two double crochets and we're gonna be working in the single crochet. We're gonna do a shell stitch increase. And now what we do with that is we work in the single crochet, three double crochets. There's one, two, and three. And then we're gonna do a chain of one and in the same single crochet, we're gonna work three more doubles. One, two, and three. Just like that. And now we're gonna jump over here to the next shell and we're gonna do a single crochet into the middle stitch. So we're gonna skip these two stitches and in the middle one, we're gonna single crochet like that and then we're gonna skip these two and then we'll be down here at the single crochet and we're gonna do this shell increase again so in the single crochet we're gonna work three double crochets 
There's one. Two. And three. And then we're going to chain one. And we're going to go back into the same stitch and work three more double crochets. There's one. Two. And three. Now we're going to single crochet into the middle of the next shell. So we skip these two stitches and single crochet right there, which will be the middle. And then we're going to skip these two stitches and then we'll be at that single crochet. And we're going to work the shell increase right here in this single crochet. So we're going to work three doubles. There's one, two, and three. Chain one and work three more doubles into the same stitch. And now we're going to work a single crochet into the middle of the next shell. So we're skipping two stitches and the next one will be the middle stitch of the shell. And then we're going to skip two stitches again and we'll be down here at the single crochet and we want to work this shell increase into the single crochet. So three doubles. My cone keeps getting caught on my chair. Two, three, a chain one, and three more doubles. One, two, and three. Now we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet over here. Not the chain one that we did, but the first single crochet. So we skip this right here, the single crochet, or, or slip stitch into that first single crochet. Now what? It looks a little square and that's fine, but what you'll have is four of these shell increases this time. sew up the circle later too. I noticed mine's kind of big, but I'll sew it up later. Okay, now for row or round three, what we're gonna do is, since this is a shell increase, we're actually gonna say that these three stitches are one shell and these three stitches are one shell. That's how we're gonna do the increase. So we're gonna slip stitch over to the middle shell, or the middle stitch of this, of these three stitches. So what we're going to do is slip stitch once and twice and now we're going to be into the middle of these three stitches and we're going to chain one and go back into that same stitch and single crochet. Now we're going to do a regular shell, five double crochets through this chain one space. So five double crochets, there's one two, three, four, and five. And now we're going to single crochet into the middle of these three shells. So we're skipping this one and single crochet into the middle of these three double crochets. I'm sorry, I said shells. We're going to single crochet into the middle one of these three doubles. So we skip this one and single crochet into the next, just like that. And now we're gonna skip one, and right here is a, the single crochet, and we're just gonna do a regular shell into that single crochet. So five double crochets into it. There's one, two, three, four, and five and we're just going to kind of repeat this all the way around now okay these three double crochets of this shell increase we're going to single crochet into the middle one so we skip this one and single crochet into the next and now we're going to do a regular shell into the chain one space so five double crochets there's one two three, 
four and five. And now we're going to single crochet into the middle of these three double crochets. So we skip this one and single crochet into the next. And then we're going to skip the next one and the next stitch will be a sing the single crochet and we're going to do a regular shell into that. So five double crochets into that single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And again, we're just going to repeat. We're going to single crochet into the middle stitch of these three double crochets. So we're skipping this one and single crocheting into this one, which will be the middle. And then we're going to put five double crochets through the chain one space. So shell through the chain one space. <clears throat> and now we're going to single crochet into the middle of these three. So we skip one and single crochet into the next. And then we're going to skip one and shell right here into this single crochet. So five doubles. There's one, two, three, four, five. Single crochet into the middle of these three. Skip one and single crochet. That'll be the middle one. And then we're going to shell into the chain one space. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip one and single crochet into the next, which, be, which will be the middle of those three. And then we're going to shell right here into this last single crochet, just a regular shell. One. It's kind of hard to see it because we slip stitched into it, but it's there. You'll see it. Two. Three. Four. Five. And now we're going to end round three with a slip stitch into our first single crochet. Not the chain one, but the first single crochet. Just like that. And now you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shells at the round three. Okay. For round four, we're just going to do a regular row. We're not going to increase this round. So we're going to slip stitch over to the middle stitch of the first shell. So we slip stitch one, two, three, and then we're going to chain one and single crochet right back into that same stitch. And now we're going to skip these two and then we'll be at that single crochet. We're just going to shell, regular shell into that single crochet. So five doubles. There's one, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to single crochet into the middle of the next shell. So if we skip two and single crochet into the next, that'll be the middle one. And then we're going to skip two and then we'll be at that single crochet. Just go ahead and shell into that single crochet. Okay, now we're going to single crochet into the middle of the next shell. So if we skip two and we single crochet in the next, that'll be the middle. And then we'll skip two again and that'll be the single crochet and we're just going to shell into it. And now we're just going to repeat this all the way around until we get back to the beginning. 
And when you get back to the beginning, you still should have eight shells. Single crochet into the middle of the next shell. And shell into the next single crochet. So just repeat this until you get back around to the beginning. Okay, when you make it back around and you have your eight shells, you just want to slip stitch into your first single crochet. And that'll end round four. Now round five, we're going to do increasing shells again. So we're going to start off by slip stitching up to the middle of the first shell. So just like we would before. One, two, and three. And then we're going to chain one and go back into that same stitch and single crochet. Now in, we're going to skip these two. Into this next single crochet we're going to do the increase. So increase shell, that's where we do three double crochets. There's one. two, three, and then we're going to chain one, and then we're going to go back in it and do three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Now we're going to single crochet into the center of the next shell. So we skip these two, and the next one we single crochet will be the center. And then we'll skip these two stitches, then we'll be at the single crochet. We're just going to do a regular shell into this single crochet. So just five double crochets. So we're going to do the increase in every other, every other uh, shell is going to be the increase. single crochet into the center of the next shell. So skip these two and then this next one will be the center. And then we're going to do the shell increase right down here into this next single crochet. So we're going to do three doubles. A chain of one and three more double crochets. And then we're going to single crochet into the center of the next shell. So if you skip two and single crochet into the next, it will be the center. And then we're going to do the shell, regular shell, into the next single single crochet down here. So let's do five double crochets. There's one, two. three, four, and five, and then single crochet into the center of the next shell. And then we'll do the shell increase down here into the next single crochet. So three doubles. Chain one and then three more doubles into that same space. Single crochet into the middle of the next shell. And then a regular shell into the next single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And then single crochet into the middle of the next shell. And shell increase into the next single crochet. So three doubles. Chain one and three more doubles. Okay. 
single crochet into the middle of the next shell and a regular shell <clears throat> right here into the last single crochet and remember it's kind of that last single crochet is kind of always hard to see because we've slipped stitched into it but and then you're going to end with a slip stitch into your first single crochet over here now you still should have eight shells but four of them will be the regular ones and then you'll have four will be the increased ones and that will end round five so one two three four five six seven eight okay now we're going to start again on round six now this is going to be the increase shell so we have to put a single crochet in the middle of these three so we're going to slip stitch two times to get over to that middle stitch and we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet right back into it and now we're going to put a regular shell right here into the chain one space one two three four and five and then we're going to single crochet into the middle of these three so we're just going to skip this one and single crochet here okay and then skip this one and we'll be here at a single crochet we're going to put a regular shell into that single crochet so five double crochets that's two three four and five now this one was not an increase so we have to single crochet into the middle of it so we'll be if we skip two this time we'll be in the middle of this shell so single crochet right there into the middle of it and then if we skip two again we'll be at the single crochet and we're just going to put a regular shell into this single crochet one two three four five and now this one was the shell increase so we have to single crochet in the middle of these three stitches so we skip one and we single crochet into the next which will be the middle and now we're going to do a regular shell through the chain one space so five double crochets and these three again we want to skip one and single crochet into the middle so if we skip this one and single crochet in the next that'll be the middle and then we'll have one left to skip before we hit our next single crochet and we'll just put a regular shell into that single crochet okay now this is a regular shell so we have to single crochet in the middle of it so we have to skip two this time since it's a regular shell we skip the two we'll be in the middle of it so single crochet into the middle of that regular shell and then we'll skip these and we'll be at that skip these two of the shell and we'll be at the single crochet just put a regular shell into that single crochet okay and now we're at the shell increase again so we have to get in single crochet in the middle of these three doubles so not this one but this one right here will be the middle and then we shell in the chain one space just the regular shell one two three four five and then 
single crochet in the middle of these three. So if we skip this one, we single crochet into the next. And now if we skip this one, we'll be at the single crochet. We're just going to shell into that single crochet. Just a regular shell. So five doubles. And right here is a regular shell. So we need to single crochet into the center of it. So for the regular shell, we always skip the first two and single crochet into the next, like that. And then we'll skip these two and we'll be at the single crochet and we just put a regular shell into the single crochet. So we're just gonna repeat this all the way around. I guess I'm almost all the way to the end, I think, so I'll just keep going. This is my regular, or this is my um, shell increase. So I have to single crochet in the middle of these three. Shell into the chain one space, regular shell, one, two, three, four, and five. Single crochet into the middle of these three the middle one, and regular shell into this single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and then this is the regular shell, so we single crochet into the middle of that one, and then we do a regular shell right down here into our last single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh. And then we're gonna end round six with a slip stitch into our first single crochet. Not the chain one, but the first single crochet. Now you should have 12 shells at the end of this round. And it don't really look that round, but that's fine. It'll it'll look normal once you get more rows going. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now round 7 through 13 is all going to be worked the same. It's going to be uh, no more increases. It's going to start bringing the hat down and making it look more like a hat. So what we're going to do is we're going to start every round now, round seven, slip position over to the middle of our first shell. So you guys slip stitch three times and then we'll chain one and we'll go back in and single crochet into that same stitch. And then we will shell right here into the first single crochet. So five doubles. And then we will single crochet into the middle of this shell. So you're just skipping two and the third one will be the middle. And then we'll, if we skip these two, we'll be at the single crochet. So we just put a regular shell into the single crochet. So no more increases anymore, not until we get to the brim anyways. Single crochet into the middle of the next shell. And shell into the next single crochet. single crochet into the middle of the next shell and shell into the next single crochet. And we're going to repeat this all the way around until we get back to the beginning and you should have 12 shells still when you make it back around. I 
Okay, when you make it all the way around and you got your 12 shells, you just want to end with a slip stitch into your first single crochet. And that'll end round seven. And you just want to repeat round seven for a total of 13 rounds. So remember, you just slip stitch over here to your first, the middle of your first shell and chain one and single crochet and shell into this single crochet. Single crochet in the middle of this shell shell into this single crochet. So we just repeat round seven until you get a total of 13 rounds and then we'll start the brim. And it's okay if it looks a little funny now. It'll look better later, I promise. <laughs> okay, once you get your 13 total rows starting from the top all the way down, now we're going to make the brim of the hat. Still using the shell stitch, but we're going to do increases again. So I just slip stitched in there to my into my uh, first single crochet. So now I'm going to slip stitch over to my middle stitch of the shell right here, just like we normally do. So there's one, two, three, and I'm going to chain one and go back into it and single crochet. Now I'm going to jump over here to this single crochet and I'm going to do a shell stitch increase so that's where we do three into the single crochet three double crochets there's one two three chain one and three more one two three and then i'm going to single crochet into the middle stitch of this shell so skip these two and single crochet right there into the middle. That. Now in this single crochet here, I'm just going to do a regular shell. So I'm going to put five double crochets into it. There's two, three, four, five. And now I'm just going to kind of repeat what I just did. So I'm going to skip these two and single crochet into the middle of the shell. And now this single crochet is going to be a shell increase. So I'm going to go right into it and do three double crochets. A chain of one and three more double crochets. like that and then I'm going to skip the next two here and single crochet into the middle of the next shell and then this single crochet down here is just going to be a regular shell so five single crochets in that stitch and I'm just going to repeat this all the way around so Skip these two and single crochet into the middle of the next shell. And then you just down here in this single crochet, it's going to be the shell increase. So it's going to be three doubles. A chain one and three more doubles. And then you skip these two single crochet into the middle of the next shell and then right here in the single crochet we skip these two in the single crochet down here this is going to be a regular shell <clears throat> so it's just increasing every other shell so I'm just going to repeat this all the way around until I get back to the beginning five single crochet here in the middle and then the next one single, next shell down here on the single crochet will be the increase just like that and just go ahead and repeat that until you get all the way back around 
Okay, when you make it around, you still should have 12 shells, but this time six of them will be the regular shells and six of them will be the increased shells. So my last one I did was just a regular shell of five into that last stitch. And now I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first single or first single crochet like that. Yeah. Now, since this is an increased shell, what we're going to do is slip stitch over to the middle of these three. So you just got to slip stitch one, two, and that's where we're going to start the middle of these three, because this is the increase. So we're going to chain one and go back into that same stitch and single crochet. And now in the chain one space, we're just going to do a regular shell five double crochets into that chain one space, two, three, four, and five. And now we're going to single crochet into the middle stitch of these three. So right here, we just skip that one, skip in this stitch and single crocheting into the middle like that. And now right down here in this single crochet, we're going to do a regular shell. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And now right here is a regular shell. So we're going to single crochet into the middle stitch of that. So we'll skip these two and single crochet into the middle. And now we're gonna, down here at the single crochet, we're gonna do a regular shell. So we skip these two right here in the single crochet, five double crochets. There's one, two, three, four, and five. And now right here is where we'd have a shell increase. So we gotta just skip one this time and single crochet into the middle of these three. Like that. And then we're gonna do a regular shell, five double crochets through the chain space. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to do a single crochet into the middle of these three. So we're just skipping this one right here and single crocheting right here, like that. And then we're going to skip this one and right here is the single crochet. We're just going to do a regular shell right into that single crochet. So five doubles. There's one, two, three, four, and five. And this is a regular shell. So we're just going to do a single crochet right in the middle of it. So we skip these two stitches, single crochet in the middle. And then right here, down here at the single crochet, we're skipping these two stitches and then the single crochet. We're going to do a regular shell stitch. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're at one of our increases again. So that is where we just skip one and single crochet into the middle of these three. And then we do a regular shell stitch through the chain space. So five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to skip this one and do a single crochet into the middle of these three. And then we're gonna skip this one and it will be at the single crochet and we're just going to do a regular shell into that single crochet so five doubles that's two three four and five and this is a regular shell so again we're going to single crochet into the middle of it like that and then down here at this single crochet, we do a regular shell, five double crochets. 
and then we're just kind of repeating this pattern all the way around and this is a shell increase here so we're gonna single crochet in the middle stitch of these three And then we're going to do a regular shell in the chain one space. And then we're going to single crochet into the middle of these three. Like that. And then this next single crochet down here is a regular shell. So we're just going to repeat this until we get back to the beginning. This is this a regular shell, so we single crochet into the middle of it. And then right down here at the single crochet is a regular shell. And then this is the increase one. So we single crochet into the middle of these three. Regular shell in the chain one space. single crochet into the middle of these three and then the single crochet right down here is a regular shell. So I'm going to repeat this until I get back to the beginning. Okay when you make it all the way around you should have 18 shells now and we're just going to go ahead and slip stitch into our first single crochet and now we're not going to increase any more or anything. So we're just going to slip stitch over to our middle stitch here of this first shell, just like we were normally doing. And we're going to chain one, and then we're going to single crochet right back into that same stitch. Okay, and then we're going to skip two here, and right here at this single crochet, we're just going to do a regular shell. Two, three, four, and five, and then we will single crochet into the middle of this shell, and then we'll do a shell in that chain one right here, regular shell. So five doubles. There's one, two, three. Four, five, single crochet into the middle of this shell. And shell into the next single crochet. single crochet into the middle of the next shell and shell into the next single crochet. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around and you still should have 18 shells when you get back around to the beginning. I got there, one, two, three, four, and five. And single crochet into the middle of this shell and shell into the next single crochet. Okay once you made it all the way around you still should have your 18 shells. Now what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to go around again uh, just repeating that last row and actually you can make the brim 
now you can try it on and make it as long or as short as you want so if you try it on now and you like where it's at that's fine you can just stop right now and hide all your tails i'm going to go around again and make it a little bit longer just one more time and if you want to do it more than one that's completely up to you all we're going to do is repeat the row that we just did so i just ended in slip stitch there in my first single crochet so now i'm going to slip stitch over here to this middle shell just like normal just like we usually do and I'm going to chain one and single crochet back into that same stitch and I'm going to shell right here in this single crochet one two three four five and then single crochet into the middle of this next shell shell into the next single crochet so we're just repeating the row that we just did and remember you can try it on and you can do your brim as long or as short as you want this is going to be my last row i think And then single crochet into the middle of your next shell and shell in your next single crochet so you just repeat this all the way around and you still should have 18 shells at the end of this round Okay, once you get done with that last row, remember you can do more if you want your brim longer. That's up to you. But just go ahead and slip stitch into your first single crochet, and I'm going to tie off now. And just hide that tail, and then you're finished. So that's it. That's all there is to it. I guess it looks complicated, but I don't think it's very complicated. I think it turned out pretty nice. I tried it on my mannequin. She wears it quite nicely, so <laughs> she'll be the one wearing it. No, I, I usually don't wear it stuff I make but I'll probably give it to my sister or somebody but if you make this or anything else I'd really like to see a picture of it you could also accessorize it you know you could put a ribbon around it or put a flower on it whatever you wanted to do but um if you make this anything else you can post it on the bag of day crochet Facebook page I'll put a link to that below in the description box um you can probably find a pattern for this on uh, Etsy I'll put a link to that below too and don't forget to check me out on Pinterest and Twitter and Instagram. I'll put the links to all that stuff below. And until next time, have a good day.